Good morning, everybody. It's Emily. It is Saturday, September 8th, and this is your daily guidance, your daily wisdom shot for the day. Um, I've just shuffled and thrown the cards. Thank you to everybody who made a suggestion for the topic of the day. Um, after reading all the topics, I decided that I was just going to go ahead and do my usual general energy reading because I felt that that would be the most beneficial to the most people. So um, seeing all of your topics, I might go ahead and do a few extra readings or a reading where I pull a number of questions um, coming up so that I can address everything that you guys were asking. Um, but for this particular reading, I'm going to go ahead with my usual um, energy check-in. Also, I just want to quickly um, mention the September reading special that I have going on is a 17 card pull for $25, which is super cheap and affordable. Um, just because I know so many of you are going through so many shifts and I've gotten excellent, excellent feedback from everybody who has gotten one. So um, I would definitely recommend taking advantage of that. The info for that will be in the description box below the reading. Um, okay, so I've pulled the cards. Um, what I'm really getting right now is that um, similar to yesterday, we've been going through an emotional reboot, emotional transformation right now. Um, our bottom of the deck, our, our underlying energy for right now um, is the equivalent of the hanged man card. But looking at this card, of course... You know, I read by the, the meanings of the cards, but I also read intuitively and listen to um, my record keepers and my highest light beings and my highest guides. And they're really driving me to the um, all of the water showing up in a lot of these cards that I've drawn today. And I feel like we're today starting to get our heads above water. The water in this card is really murky and it just tells me that we're um, rising above some of these lower vibrational emotions that um, we're really clouding our view and clouding our emotional um, landscape for the last couple weeks, especially the last couple days. And that's going to bring in this kind of um, clarity and it's going to start to bring in this new perspective of um, unity and higher vibrational feelings. So it's not going to be as murky today. Today we're really starting to poke our heads out from above that murky water. And we're receiving um, this sort of higher vibrational prismic kind of energy wave that is um, coming in literally and figuratively to our consciousness. So allowing yourself to let go of the lower vibrational emotions are going to bring you to a position where you are more able to accept this higher vibrational wave um, that's coming in. I feel like a lot of us, <laughs> a lot of us are actually the problem. So what we're doing is we're holding on to these lower vibrational emotions because it is part of how we identify ourselves right now, but we need to shift out of that perspective and we need to be able to let go of those. Holding on to those emotions, that is not your identity. That's not what is, um, that is not part of being, <clears throat> so going through this process is, is part of being a twin or a light worker or star seed or whatever, but those actual emotions are not part of that. Like when you let go of them, you're not losing any piece of yourself. You're not losing your twin. You're not losing your, um, your mission. You're not losing who you think you are. And I know that sounds crazy, but I think on a, on a subconscious level, so many of us hold on to that misery because it gives us something to work on. It gives us something to work toward or away from or against, and we don't need to do that. That's not necessary. We're here to release that. That's the job. So if you are feeling that, that's good. That's okay because that's you naming it. That's you recognizing it. Once you recognize it, the next step is to immediately let it go. 
let it run through you, let it move on, allow it to wash away, allow it to clear away the dirt and debris of all that old emotional and energetic detritus, if that makes sense. Okay, so that was a lot of talking about our bottom of the deck card, but that's really like the place where we're coming from right now. So the important parts there are feel the emotion, let the emotion go. And that is what we talked about yesterday in the main part of the reading. So that tells me since this is our underlying energy, we're actually moving out of it. And that is a great thing. Okay, moving on. Um, <clears throat> we are experiencing this transformation and a lot of it does right now have to do with the emotional body. Uh, there's a lot of, um, I'm seeing some water come up in the pictures of these cards and um, you have the seven of cups here so it's like it's caused a lot of confusion for us in the last couple weeks um, I see the two birds so I'm feeling like it's two weeks that this has really been going on and intense and it's just like it makes it hard to understand which direction we should be going in and to be honest that's okay um, it's okay to be standing still for a minute while we pull ourselves out of this while we allow ourselves to shed this and it's all about I asked for a clarifier on this card it's all about that emotional mastery we've got the king of hearts that came up for the clarifier so um, it's okay to be right here where we are you know or where we were yesterday um, because it's all part of mastering those emotions of shedding and transforming out of the more dense um, emotional body that we have been holding on to. So we, we keep our emotional body, which is, you know, outside of our physical body, but it's shedding a lot of that more dense energy. The feeling I get here is that a lot of us are kind of like when you're underwater and you're like, let's say you've just jumped into water and you, and you like sink to the bottom and there's this like, momentary panic of like how far how far underwater am I like how far long is it going to take me to get to the top and then you start swimming to the top and then you suddenly breach the surface and then you're there for a second of confusion and you just kind of look around like where am I how far am I from shore where am I and it's almost like we're at that second where we're just like trying to gain our footing to understand where we are now that we've um, breached the surface of these dense emotions um, and now that we have done that the lights coming in we see the sunlight breaking through and our heads are above water um, and we're receiving this light energy to assist us in moving forward positively um, through this emotional tide that we're in right now again more water in this um, this number eight card uh, below the light card um, the light card also reduces to a 10 so I feel like this really is kind of the end of the cycle um, in the beginning of a new cycle where we're, we've worked through this emotional energy or we're in the process of doing it and that's about to wrap up soon so know that and just um, focus on the light at the end of the tunnel which we should all be starting to see as we're breaking through the surface of that watery abyss um, receive the light energies that are coming in just be open to them be open to the sunlight even though like here it's super rainy and <laughs> disgusting today in Ohio but um, wherever you are that light energy, the energy of the sun, is actually carrying all kinds of light codes that are going to affect your cellular structure to allow the release of so much of this lower vibrational energy. It comes in the form of vitamins, it comes in the form of um, energy, just allow it to penetrate your skin and um, uh, affect your physical being and affect all of your energetic bodies outside of that because it does it affects each one of those they um, also are affected by the sunlight and the energies that we um, absorb 
don't sit out in the sun <laughs> for hours on end and burn to a crisp. Like, you know, we still exist in the physical world. We still have to think about these things. But um, do know that allowing this energy to permeate our bodies and our energetic bodies is a, is helping us to move forward. And that light is there. So um, integrate it. Allow it to integrate into your system to bring you to a higher vibrational place. I'm always talking about that, but every day, honestly, every day we are integrating more and more high vibrational energies, which are changing our bodies and changing our energetic structures so that um, we're able to hold on to higher and higher vibrational energies. There's so much sun that's appearing and so many light points that are appearing in these cards. I just want to ask you to focus on that highest intention and to set your intentions now because we are moving into a new moon um, coming up very shortly. And um, even though these are, these are suns that are appearing in the cards, I feel like the sun is that intention that you're going to set that's going to help guide you into this next cycle. Um, I feel like also these cards are separated into three columns and they didn't do this intentionally, but this is kind of how it's working out. We have the past, the present, and the near future. So the past is this, you know, watery confusion. The present is this point of sunlight, this um, ray of sunlight that's coming in. And um, this new energy wave that's coming in. I don't know if there really is. Honestly, I have not channeled that information um, recently myself because I've been so focused on the cards and sort of the emotional, the more grounded aspects um, but this suggests to me that there may be a new ray coming in today. So just um, keep that in mind. And the near future, we have the Three of Cups and we have the Eight of Wands. And um, that tells me that because of what we've gone through in the last couple of weeks, because of the setting of the intentions and the accepting of the light energy um, today that we're stepping into a period of accelerated movement toward um, toward the collective um, enlightenment, toward the collective ascension. So everything around you should be accelerating and the people around you should be accelerating. We're all kind of stepping into this um, point of faster motion in the next... Um, I'm seeing three days. The next three days should be an accelerated kind of motion for us um, into higher vibrations, lighter energies. The clarifiers on the Three of Cups for the collective are the Queen of Hearts, the King of Spades, and the Seven of Spades. And I'm getting that some of this is still... Um, the way that this is going to play out is still kind of hidden from us right now, which is okay. And the, the advice there is just to remain in touch with your emotional self and to keep it on an even keel. Um, don't let it run away with you, but do allow the emotions to come in and to flow through. And understand that, that um, you know, there's quite a lot that we still are not able to see yet. And that because we're in this um, cycle of clearing out so much of this emotional energy, that it's okay and we need to remain balanced and we need to remain somewhat detached while we allow these things to cycle through and that's going to help us. Soon more information will be coming in, we'll um, be light, more light will be shed upon what is, is happening in the larger picture, but none of us are receiving all of the information right now because it is such a huge orchestrated event and huge orchestrated um, <sighs> clearing of so much energy and so many energy bodies at once. Okay, everybody's playing their own role and um, and so there will be more more opportunities coming up for us to understand more. Um, 
Let me just get one card of advice for all of us today. Actually, this just fell out, so I'm going to go with it. Um, the card is shield yourself. So while you're accepting the light codes and the light energy, you want to shield yourself from any lower vibrational energies coming in because you are going to be a bit, bit more vulnerable as you're accepting and as you're transitioning into a higher dimensional and a higher vibrational state. This card says, Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night and keep my loved ones safe. So, um, so that to me is um, reminding us to set a shield so that um, with the intention that only the light energies and the unconditional love energies and the pure divine wisdom energies can penetrate and all things that are lower vibrational are automatically um, shielded from us bounced off and sent back to their source um, a couple other cards came out with that which i'll just go over quickly one is peace archangel shamuel peace comes from remembering that only love is real Serena, I am the angel of abundance. You will receive money that you need, and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. Ishtar, boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others' demands on your time and energy. Sensitivity, Archangel Haniel. You are extra sensitive to energies and, mo and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. And time to go. The sun sets and rises each day, and the same with the avenues in your life see the beauty within each sunset of your life and know that the sun will rise again tomorrow endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle so i feel like we've touched on the ideas in every single one of these cards um except maybe the abundance card but i think that that is also um that ties into the light that's coming in that there's an abundance of this um, healing energy, which is also going to allow the physical abundance to start coming into our lives more. Um, and just because I know somebody is being triggered by this time to go card, that doesn't mean that, you know, <laughs> uh, necessarily like some major relationship is ending or anything like that. But I, like I said earlier, I feel that, um, you know, with this this light energy coming in that there is um, a cycle ending with this sort of emotional clearing and so we're moving into a new phase here in our um, our ascension process so I hope that this was helpful for you and um, please do like comment share ask me if you have questions I love to answer them and um, I will talk to you guys very soon bye